Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. My name is Junaid Shahid. In this video, I am going to migrate my SQL to SQL Server. In the last video, we have implemented the identity in our application. Now it's time to migrate WordPress database which is based on MySQL. If you are using XAM or you are using any Linux server where you have deployed the WordPress website, you can easily extract MySQL database and then convert that into SQL server database. It is really easy step. You just need to get the migration software from Microsoft official website which will help you to migrate your MySQL to SQL Server. Let's watch in this video. Here you can see I have newly installed WordPress website and here I have a newly installed WordPress website database which is nearly about to be empty. I didn't install any theme or any demo data in this application but you can do that. For the educational purpose, I have just installed this newly WordPress website. If you have any existing WordPress website, maybe your data or table schema will be different according to the plugins, themes and so on options you have added in your WordPress website. We just need to migrate this structure into SQL Server. If I will connect my uh, SQL Server and show you that how it's look alike then you will get to know we don't have the SQL version of WordPress database here is the my SQL Server and here we have the collection of databases which are synced with projects okay there is no WordPress available so what we need to do we need to migrate this web uh, database for SQL server for that you need to use SQL migration assistant you can easily search for SQL server migration assistant for my SQL and it will give you official software by which you can convert your existing MySQL database to SQL Server database. It is really easy. You just need to download this software and install in your Windows. The next step after the successful installation is this software it is really easy to understand how this software works first of all you just need to create a new project which you want to convert let's name this WP migration this is my new project and I want to migrate anything to SQL Server 2014 even that you can convert into different versions even that Azure SQL database and managed instance support is also available so you can easily migrate I am only expla explaining and covering the MySQL to SQL but with the help of SQL Server Migration Assistance you can convert any database to MySQL sorry SQL even that you can convert from uh, MS Access Azure and so on so let's select this and click OK now your project is ready now the next thing is to connect your relevant databases for connecting my SQL click here write the server port name password and so on information you can select driver according to your need mode according to your need and this is the relevant information and click connect I am using these settings that's why I am selecting this after successful connection 
it will reflect me which database I want to migrate so I have options of different uh, databases which are available and right now it is loading the databases because my current WordPress database is not available here so until that's available I cannot migrate that so you need to wait for a while until all the databases are get to be loaded after the databases get load I will select which database I want to migrate so you can easily select I want this website I want this so here you can see this is the WordPress uh, okay now I want to migrate WordPress database into SQL server click OK it is my relevant database when you will click here you will get to know that this information is available all the procedures statements views table functions events will automatically migrate it in the relevant syntax of SQL next step is to connect your SQL server so I am using this server uh, it is all uh, automatically get the default I don't I need to name the database uh, which I want to create so I will create that WordPress the same name and click connect now what happened you can that you you are connecting to SQL server version that is different than this project okay no problem I want to continue database does not exist so create database yes now this software automatically create that database okay uh, continue now everything is done by this software you don't need to be worried about to uh, copy data or copy schema one by one or procedures or views and so on things this software will automatically judge that what is the best solution for you so that's why it's called SQL Server Migration Assistant which will give you a lot of support on migration now you can see uh, this is your local my SQL database and this is my SQL database in these databases my WordPress website is get migrated successfully uh, here is the schema and here is the assemblies okay uh, right now just database is created but uh, migration is not done right now okay so you just need to click right right click here and convert schema okay and it is converting 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 all the data is converting here you can see in 12 tables which are converting here and now let me uh, synchronized with database next step is to this okay that's good okay click this and it will automatically sync with this now it's time to refresh this and to get to know is my data is available or not okay now these things are ready well known and modify okay target schema is this now synchronization operation is complete and once again we will do the same okay everything is working fine now that's it nothing's left anymore next thing is to go here refresh your databases and here you will view a WordPress where we have tables which are converted from WordPress okay uh, let's do a quick comparison here you can see comment meta 
comment links option post and all the, these are the 12 tables which are successfully migrated to this but remember data is not migrated okay it's just reflecting the information you, if you want to migrate data you have to export this and import that here okay let's do that quickly uh, we have options if there is any table which is custom and you want that information to migrate from MySQL to SQL Server then you need to do that manually how you just need to open click uh, click this and you need to export and it will export the individual table okay the next one is to insert that data here okay uh, you can script that insert into a new query window now when you will download this okay it's downloaded and I want to open this here so just drag and drop and it will automatically open and I want to insert the data here here you can see we have one two and three options and here we have one two three four options so here is the condition where we will get stuck but as a developer it's your responsibility to provide the best solution so the solution is that you need to own the identity so when you will insert the information it will ask you for the identity but before that let me add this option ID here like this and insert the value in this syntax okay uh, insert into the values so you just need to copy this and up to this which is enough for our tutorial okay and execute okay I have uh, something wrong here oh yes so here we have values options let's uh, correct the syntax and then it will be fine oh yes so we need to remove this okay here is the thing which I am talking earlier that identity insert is off which you need to make it on so you will do that you will say uh, this one identity insert on okay uh, or you will do set identity insert so here put the name put the whole name okay that's good and now you can see the information is inserted into this table which you can view by this so we are done we have successfully migrated the MySQL database into SQL Server and manually import the data. In this video, we have successfully completed MySQL database to SQL database migration with the help of SQL Server Assistant Manager for MySQL. In the next video, we are going to integrate Entity Framework Database first approach to generate Entity Model from this migrated database.
If you like this video, don't forget to share the Engineering Project YouTube channel. And if you have any kind of question regarding this, you can do that via comments. Take care. Bye-bye. Have fun.